In the name of Allah, most merciful, most best, God's peace and blessed be upon you. Good afternoon, everybody. Of course, you hope they're truly you're so alert with us after lunch, after this heavy meal. Um, uh, first, uh, I'm with Sam Jessania from the uh, from the construction initiative in the massive housing, and uh, using the technology of construction, of course, and they're going to take you into a very short journey about our initiative of construction. It's in back, uh, um, it's in back on the uh, construction industry. That is the main topic of our forum today. Before we start, uh, we are going to give you a little pre preface and introduction to explain to explain more and give further details about our initiative. The initiative is one of is one of the initiatives of the motivation of the private sector initiatives and is supervised by the Ministry of Housing Program, the program of the Ministry of Housing and the Logistics uh, Services that's achieved the vision 2030 of Saudi Arabia. Of course, the Ministry of Housing has just found out that 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 has a very high high grade demand on housing from citizens and actually but one of its goals from to uh, uh from 20, 2020, 20, uh, 2023, uh, so as to, uh, I mean, uh, to, uh, to the, this, this demand uh, submitted by uh, 680,000 until the year 2023, is, I mean, it's submitted by 1.5 uh, in 2030. This is a high volume, high grade demand. It's a great shift, a great transfer. Of course, it did not exploit this industry and the, this high demand on housing uh, uh, by citizens here. So the, the demand will be available, uh, but it's not going to be uh, complemented co correctly or probably. So for the time being, uh, no one is going to and going to use the idea of uh, uh, taking something old. Nobody from is all about taking uh, buying something uh, an, um, an old fashioned smart uh, smartphone like Nokia or uh, all products or everybody now is making for uh, the, the, the new technologies. And nobody, for example, would would have to uh, would have to buy an old an old uh, an old car I mean 70s this last century 70s model and just because it has a strong body or something like that or it was made made of, of steel now the question is how we really how can we exploit this demand uh, to make an industry so as to relieve the, the tension of the waste and the stress of the waste and the lack of efficiency and, the, and the effectiveness in the labor and the labors how can we really reduce the, the waste in the construction industry as well here came the idea of activating uh, I mean our national construction initiative and the main fundamental the main goals of this initiative is just to have a housing unit of high quality unit a residential unit and can be implemented as fast as we can in the very proper in the proper time and in the end time at the same time we must have a very competitive price at the conclusion we can actually we can serve and we can provide a great service to the local content and from this we will have great works in the way that the engineer or or the app the job applicant of course will, is going to have a very good environment to work uh, I mean comfortably later comes the phase of 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 the in the in, in industrial uh, sector uh, where there will be uh, a test of quality and specific quality and that's the main goal that we're going to reach for the time being today and now we see that really that in 2020 20, 20, uh, 2030 the demand will be submitted by 1 million 0.5 uh, residential units and 1.5 million is just like a goal in the housing sector in addition to mega project sectors that we have here in Saudi Arabia of course there, there are a lot of things to, to cover it and or there are a lot of things you know actually now we can go to other sectors in the Gulf states and in the Middle East so now let's say let's talk about this important thing we want to cause a transfer from the construction industry from the local level to the international level to the international level the global level in a way that truly we can cover this sector we can cover the Middle East uh, as a whole the area of the Middle East or region of the Middle East so that's the reason we concentrated on three three main uh, central projects that we're working on all uh, together so the first one is the uh, the mechanical sector and uh, automation and the uh, the innovation and and when we talk about actually automation 
nation, the king of Saudi Arabia, the government of Saudi Arabia has done a lot so as to motivate the sector, the automation sector in addition. So we can talk about innovation as well. We found out today an innovation, we might, there might be things that we do not know. So we need to test them, to try test and try. And we found out today that it's the, we have a great opportunity and so as to conduct the studies and research with the support of the government in the field of innovation and R&D. And, and the conclusion, we today, we have a new idea, pretty new idea that I'm going to discuss it with you and provide, present it to you. And I hope that you're going to uh, consider it. Please imagine the situation when, when we have this great scenario and situation. When we discuss such matters together, let's define exactly the technology, the construction uh, uh, um, technology, construction technology. We didn't find a, a very uh, sufficient definition now. We said before the definition, simple words, the cr cr criteria and specifications we're looking for, the criteria of the, of the, of the, of the, of the inventor or just like the owner of this uh, technology or uh, uh, the innovative technology can actually enhance our work with a great level or high level of quality in competitive prices that will serve the local uh, content in that time we can say that Chile will be very able to finish the first phase or the sorting out process and this will enable us so as to direct the technology to the technical department the means of housing where they can really they can review this t technology based on specification standards whether or not it's very suitable or not and they study it from all sides in a way that really you as long as I everybody you brothers uh, will be uh, along with us where where this house is going to be very suitable for all of us and all the community members, the members of the community. As a matter of fact, actually, we have passed by the, the phase that we talked about. The, there are a lot of technologies, and maybe just in a, in a period of time, in a year, in a one year and a half period of time, I mean, our search about technology has found uh, has led us to find eight, seven, uh, seven uh, technologies that have been accredited by the Massive Housing. Five of them, uh, they, have, uh, they have manufacturers in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and they are supporting these five technologies. And these, still, there are two other technologies in the in the region and we're working so hard on them and both are used in mega projects and in, uh, such as such as the Red Sea project and the Red Sea project and we have and we have Al Gidea as well and these mega projects they are using these two technologies whether or not this factory plant is located in the industrial centers or zones or in the mobile factory that can be moved and can move to the side of the project. We come to the, the, the most exciting part of the story. What about the incentives? This is the most important thing, Chile. Let's cover it now. Today, if I really want, if I want that this idea can be implemented and want to achieve success, and we have to put our hand in the main cause of success, and, and it, which is actually the, the efforts of the, of the government to actually to grant the citizen a house in a very uh, affordable way, in, 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 so as not to have any problem in this regard. So we call it, this is the, this is the activation plan or of the private sector and we are targeting we're targeting certain sectors uh, in the private sector or certain entities in the private sector because we believe that truly really we should never be successful without the help and assistance and support of the private sector that's the reason why we are actually focusing on on our uh, beneficiaries so as to raise the, the level of the percentage of ownership uh, through the uh, real estate developers uh, contractors and engineering offices uh, and consultants and the first thing, the, in, the first component in this ecosystem, of course, was the manufacturer. And so we, we actually, we provided a number of incentives to the manufacturers. The first of which is, uh, uh, the first incentive actually reaches 25% out of the capital the, that is allocated for its project. For the time being, we actually, uh, we accredited it as a technology, we passed it as a technology, either for a factor, if it's really uh, allocated on the ground or not. So in such, in such case, we can actually provide, provide uh, 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 very uh, 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 a lot of incentives, but in case of establishing a new factory or plant, we can enable him so as to start this uh, uh, plan with uh, plant with the financial uh, incentives. In addition to and the 75 percent of the financial in, in incentive, and this there is another incentive that truly can reach to the 100 percent of the operation cost in the first year. In addition to what has been said, what has been said, we cooperated with other entities so as to provide the. 
ancestral lands and uh, the, uh, which is the general commission uh, uh, and the industrial commission for uh, for industrial zones and they provided they provided very special prices for the industrial zones and lands that can be provided for manufacturers in uh, where these grounds can are distinguished and actually can be given with affordable and affordable prices uh, now the manufacturers has reached a, a, a phase where he has got the financial support and the land so now we just we provide a further step we we, we make a match of uh, um, we if, if we can actually connect him with the contractor now the manufacturer is looking for and looking for a, a real estate developer we can get him connected with the with real estate developers and the cycle for we we can we we, we, work, we work it's so hard to complete the cycle but now we are just focusing on the role of manufacturers we come to the further step the next step and more the labor the labor of course and efficiency we've got a very specified program for training and to raise the efficiency of the, the skilled labor for all types uh, in collaborations with the real estate developers and contractors where he can really he can actually uh, bring a highly specialized trainer and so as to provide such training courses and this will help the manufacturer, the manufacturer, the owner of the factory, in addition to the, the real estate developers, to have got a good idea, a good notion about technology in a way that really can have a very well trained labor. And at the same time, we can have we and we have actually the, the we have the uh, uh, job seekers in the platform, and where they can have the certificates. And thanks to the efforts of the government, it, it actually provides such certificates in a competitive price. Competitive price. This training course is distributed by seven thousand reals as as, as uh, fees the government covers 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 90 percent out of the total value of the fees of the, the, the course as a Saudi citizen you can apply for the training course and then to, uh, there you will have 90 percent discount for the update for the seeker uh, or for the trainer the trainee uh, and we come to the role of the real estate developers so there's still the real estate developer for the time being or today is dealing with the mention of housing through a number of programs based on partnerships and uh, for the, uh, the housing development uh, development program in addition to other programs like Wafi, which has to be provided a number of incentives like the, for the, the convenience to uh, of, uh, of the uh, competitions and uh, uh, bids and actually guaranteeing the best prices for for the, the buildings based on technologies, technologies and in addition to the other uh, agreements. And these things are very important, very clear for the uh, real estate developers. At the same time, in a very similar way, but Wafi program, if you don't know, if you don't know anything about Wafi a program, it's a program specified for the actually financial transactions between the real estate, the, the, the developer and the citizen. And through this account, of course, this will guarantee the rights of, of the citizens so as to and so as to, uh, uh, to, 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 to to follow and to consider the same conditions uh, agreed upon. The main idea today, when we, for instance, as a contractor or a real estate developer, when you are building a residential unit, the residential units actually can be calculated according to the percentage of delivery. And percentage of delivery in the traditional way, it has at some, at a certain way, or the uh, the te technical or technological uh, construction, uh, I mean, uh, 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 related issues are completely estimated dif differently. So a contractor, a real estate developer can benefit a lot from this percentage of the delivery percentage through technology uh, construction technologies in addition to Wafi program everybody knows that as a real estate developer he wants to circulate the the capital so the technology construction technology in addition to the fact that it's very fast and very immediate and the the, the, the real estate developer if he's working traditionally so I think really recycling capital takes one hour from one one year uh, and a half to two years but based on construction technologies will take from three to six months you you accomplish the unit and then you deliver it and you provide Provided to the owners. Now let's take take you in a very uh, fast and very quick journey and tour as well. That's uh, about a step that's related to the uh, to the platform, our electronic platform of uh, the uh, construction technology.
what you have watched, it was just like an experience. We actually conducted this in Alayina. Alina, it, uh, it was that's, that's the first phase of building the platform for electronic housing houses. And before we, we started uh, to talk about, we start to talk about it. I expect that the majority of the people here, the Tunis, are the, they know the hunger station. They know Oprah and Kareem. Hunger station, hunger station. Uh, can we really transfer just like the, uh, the construction process into a hangar station and the same way uh, uh, we can we can do with Uber as well. So it's, is it hard? Uh, how many people you have, you have uh, your own house and you want to build a house because the experience that we really, that the familiar experience regarding this issue, of course, construction is, is destruction. Any, anyone, for instance, is going to construct is going to face a lot of uh, troubles uh, because it's not an easy job to construct a house. The idea we want to change this, the, the, the mindset of people want to change that's very simple very much more simpler than you expect but life at the beginning is very hard but later on change to become much much more convenient and sometimes we hear people now we see we see taxes are coming to you while you're standing in the in the in the, in, in the street and uh, 20 years ago we never have we, we, if you talk about some about such, such a thing to so with someone else 20 years ago he said no it would be impossible uh, for such thing to happen so actually the, the thanks to the efforts of the government and the came uh, and we have another product we have a product I mean, the loan, loan for land, land, and it provided uh, 196 uh, loans, land, lo uh, and, uh, land lo loans in Ayena. And later on, for instance, just we, we, uh, we, we actually went to those people uh, to discuss this matter with them, where we can make the cities himself is one of the one of the beneficiaries of the program of the self construction, the self construction program. And 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 there were three. Uh, the three. Uh, there are three. There were three uh, uh, um, residential units, and they were based on three technologies. And after the citizens uh, uh, has a look at it, and during the the, the, the presentation, and you can see the maquettes of the models. You can look at. You can see the three manufacturers. You can see exactly the the finishing uh, construct, construction materials. And then the the, the advisor, the real estate developer, and, and advisor. They are all available in the same position. And same locations, and we reached to sign 70 initial uh, contracts with the citizens so as to deliver the, the residential houses from three to six months. And that was thanks, thanks, thanks to God, it was in the first phase. And the main idea here is that we would try that happened here. Look, and this is this is the this is one of the the, the, the divisions. And we have got here the contractors, we have all the, the concerned parts as in a complete ecosystem at the same location. And that is the destination of the journey that we started. Kick off, the, the citizens can have a lot of choices, and and about today, uh, about the the um, I mean, a very the high level of implementation as well. You know, as contractors, the most the easiest thing for a citizen when you come to agreement with with the citizen, then after discussing this matter that you've discussed with him with his wife, maybe she he can he can he can change his mind. And uh, now now we we want uh, want it to be standardized standardized and want to to provide it as a product. Now you take a product according to the designs according to prerequisites and the finishing as well so you can take a take a, uh, they take a product a finished product so the, the, the budget does not change uh, of course the pricing process does not change since you started until you finish and of course quality is highly considered of course we there's no question about this in a week we explain the principle of quality when it come where it came from and how can you provide guarantees and evidences as well so and to the to to to, to high level the, the, of your expectations and this is the journey in simple and brief as well. I mean, he will start with the design uh, office. There's an office there. Now the idea is very simple here. And based on this this idea, you can imagine, for instance, as if it is an electronic website. It's an application. It's application. And those are the those are those are our partners in the experiment, and they're contributing to the uh, construction construction materials and the furnishing finishings and the, or just like such as entities government entities who participated with us in this actually great journey. The construction technology, December two thousand eighteen, preparing eighty percent. Uh, the two day house, the two, finishing the two day house. In the name of Allah, we start. 
Now we're working with our partners in the, ba in the private sector just to enable a very specific transfer and the methodology of construction. Uh, is competitiveness prices actually raising quality and the main idea of course in making all the parts in our factories in a very model environment so as to um, finish those models with the participation of our Saudi engineers of course the needs of the family Saudi family is our priority uh, just to enhance the construction technology in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that will enable us to develop the construction uh, technology in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and actually to confirm this success so as to motivate the private sector to participate and in, four, in 48 hours the villa will be completely finished and within an hour the owner will be will be in front of his house and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and within the five coming years it will be completely different as based on the words of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed Prince Mohammed uh, and the residential uh, unity that you have seen it has been done in two days most of the time outside those two days were was um, uh, was was out of implementation but only the two days implementation as you have watched and we actually cooperating cooperating with factories they work so hard efficiently efficiently and effectively the idea of the platform and sim it's generally uh, generally speaking I will try to respond to all the applicants of the of the uh, residential uh, uh, units and you have the catalog of all the manufacturers of the construction materials for manufacturers and all the, the sectors of the of the of the kingdom the, uh, chambers of, of come com com in industry I mean the Commission of Engineers Society of Saudi Engineers they give me a huge huge engineering uh, uh, consultant offices they can uh, design these models that are supposed to be uh, not to be accredited uh, and to be incorporated in the platform until it is accredited and proven and accepted by the citizen this model will never be incorporated in the platform uh, if it is not accepted by the people for instance the engineering uh, office how can we develop it because a part of our role is to do, is to motivate motivate to the private sector and we need the engineering consultants now we want to receive uh, designs that can be accepted and proven as well by the citizens themselves that can be very affordable and suitable so we need engineering co consultants and to have the supervision uh, of the projects to guarantee that these projects uh, have, uh, actu uh, realistically are implemented based on technology we need uh, a whole army of highly qualified uh, laborers and contractors and, and the guard as regards of uh, as regards this issue the contracts we have actually came up with a new mechanism for enabling the contractors using the construction technology now if you are in the registered in the Ministry of Housing as a contractor and and, uh, and we added a, a particle a particle uh, named the contractor of construction technology you want and the, the the contractors if we want to increase the number of contractors the the, the construction technology contractors because they because the service that you are provided is not in the level of a city or a government rate or or a province it's in the level of the state and the kingdom we need an army of contractors and as regards for the supply chains of the other construction materials and or other components now to some uh, we, we, we 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 cooperated with abiat and master uh, some uh, uh, so as to be our suppliers because we are in the first step of the phase but however and instead of having only one supplier i want to have 1000 suppliers and this is the main objective that we're working on and we want to build the base we want to launch a base we are not perfect we're not we are we're not claiming perfection we're still in the initial steps the primary steps we're going to commit mistakes and we're going to correct our mistakes and we're going to learn from our mistakes and we're going to have learned lessons but without partners without main players without enablers we should never be successful in our journey and this is the basic goal the main goal that we're talking about and at the same in addition to what has been said uh, and there are there there are future technologies we need to consider the those uh, future technologies such as the 3d printing and we want to start where the others ended and stopped we don't want to invent to reinvent the wheel we don't want to get back actually and we have actually I mean the Royal the Royal Commission for Jubail and Yamba and they, they are teaching so many technologies the private sectors the Ministry of Defense and history they actually use uh, use such techn uh, many technologies even 
the Royal Commission, the Nooksack, the quality of construction. Now, the uh, the houses that are, are located in Jabal and Yanba, the, they, are, uh, constru they were constructed 40 years ago. And then they have another method methodology. They rent houses for Sabic and Aranco, and they make, and actually they bring you, the, the, and you restored the house again as you've, uh, you've uh, delivered it and provided it to the, uh, uh, to the companies. So these residential units might not be within reach. Some, some people think this way. But uh, as a matter of fact, these residential units can be available for, ev for all citizens in case, in case we have uh, a high demand. We have high demand and where this uh, we, 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 we high demand, where it can be actually, um, this residential unit can be produced on a large scale and where the, free, the price would be affordable. Let's go back to the construction technology or R&D that we're talking about. So this is a, an example of the 3D printing. I'm going to show you now the, our experiment of the 3D printing that we used during the construction journey that we started using the construction technology platform. This is a future step, future technology for developing such constructed technology in the future. We, we are trained it so, uh, so as to use the printing and how to maintain it and how to operate it. Uh, we're living with great people here, great nation, and they can achieve their goal very, very easily, very easily. Now we have all scale trained labor. I would like again to talk about uh, to talk about our goal. One of the most important goals that I have here is to is to have a great fully increasing number of uh, contractors because as a matter of fact the uh, engineering consultants they are very very appreciated for cooperating with us and but I, I would we would like we would like to work to the best of our ability to increase the number of contractors in a way that we can it will help us so as to to achieve advanced phases uh, so as to launch the, the the platform. As we said before the first phase of the platform has been launched in Alayena and then second phase is going to be launched uh, uh, but however we are I, I'm still saying that we need an army a very huge tremendous army of contractors this is the only affordable way so as to communicate with us and we are going to the farm we, we, we design the farm for the applet, uh, for the qualification and we send it to the uh, technical the technical agency and the quality uh, all the preparation phase is done uh, efficiently and then you will be with us in the platform there, there will be very uh, high investment opportunities six more than 680 and 80 residential units uh, from 2020 2030 23 and only 40 percent has been constructed has been done out of this goal still we have a lot of investment opportunities available for most of the contractors and investors as well uh, based on partnerships or or the or construction technology or based on the developmental housing I'm sorry, I come to the conclusion of my presentation. Of course, that has been a question or any inquiry, uh, please go ahead. Uh, we are opening the floor. Thank you very much.